Tyler, I think it's ridiculous that we're still having this debate. I think it's ridiculous that the securities industry has been able to protect and maintain a suitability standard as long as it has. The difference between a fiduciary and, a suitable, and the suitability standard, on, uh, for, as an example, on a mutual fund purchase, when a broker recommends a mutual fund, it, all it has to do is be appropriate for that client, that a conservative growth fund is okay for that client. He's not required or she's not required to recommend the lowest fee fund. So I could, if I'm a broker, all I need to know is that fund's suitable and I, if it has a 4% load uh, charge fee as a part of it, I can recommend the one with the load rather than the no load. That's a suitability standard. As a fiduciary, as a money manager fiduciary, I have to recommend the best deal for the client. And if I am telling the client that I'm going to give them the advice in their interest, I think I'm obligated mm -hmm. to do that. I don't know how the industry has maintained this position of a suitability standard this long. I think it undermines the credibility of the industry. And I agree with you. It does put you at a conflict of interest when you are right. there to give the client advice and you're trying to recommend something that's going to pay you better.